good practice in NHS and local authorities. Introduction This short film is targeted at NHS trusts, clinical commissioning groups, local authorities and social care providers. Helping you with good practice to increase accessibility of services to deaf patients and service users. As part of a project run by 13 London Health Watch organisations across North, Central and East London in partnership with the British Deaf Association, deaf volunteers were recruited and trained to be enter and view authorised representatives and mystery shoppers. As part of the training, the volunteers then visited three London emergency departments. Along with gathering their experiences of using NHS and social care services, and then venues used for the training, we have been able to identify good practice that needs to be shared and hopefully adopted by other NHS trusts, local authorities and care providers. Accessible reception and waiting areas. Reception desk facing queue. It is vital the reception desk faces the queue, so when deaf patients are summoned, they can see. One emergency department reception we visited faced a wall with patients queuing to the side. There was no way a deaf patient would know when it was their turn. Another patient eventually had to come and get them. Communication book. Queen's Hospital in Romford has an excellent communication book on reception for their emergency department. Every receptionist has one at their station and it has British Sign Language BSL symbols for the key information they need to convey. This is good for deaf patients with little English and BSL as their first language. BSL trained receptionists. None of the hospital trusts we visited had reception staff trained in simple BSL level 1 or 2. However, we used the NCVO building in London as a venue for training. All four of their receptionists had some level of BSL training. This made the welcome and accessibility of their building great for deaf visitors. Even lower levels of BSL training for frontline staff improves service quality and accessibility. Pages The emergency departments at University College Hospital London and Queen's Hospital Romford have both introduced pages for deaf patients. These are issued by reception when the patient is identified as deaf as they will not hear when their name is called. The pages vibrate and flash when a patient is being called for triage or to see a doctor. This eradicates the problems many deaf people experience of missing their slot as they could not hear their name being called. 
accessible services. BSL trained staff. Ensuring all staff know how to book BSL interpreters is essential for frontline health and social care provision. In an emergency department, this may not always be fast enough when someone is brought in by ambulance, etc. Queen's Hospital in Romford has therefore trained one matron and a sister in that department to BSL Level 2. This supports communication through the assessment process before a full BSL interpreter can get to the site. The limitation of this level of BSL needs to be recognised, however, and it is not a replacement for a fully qualified and registered interpreter. Video interpreting Queen's Hospital is about to pilot the use of virtual interpreters by using Skype and tablet devices in the hospital. This is a fast response route to getting interpreting and a cost-effective solution. After the pilot, the NHS Trust will aim to roll the scheme out throughout the hospital. Accessible Information Provision BSL Information Films The London Borough of Islington was identified as a best practice borough for accessible information for the deaf community. They have a series of short films on their website in BSL to explain how to access and use council services. It would make sense and be cost effective if councils developed generic films together, where the same information applies to all authorities. BSL Live Islington Council have also introduced BSL Live for deaf residents who want to call the council about any issue or service. Sign video means that the council's call centre is fully accessible for deaf residents who cannot use the phone. It has already proven to be very popular. Summary In this film, we have shared a few examples of good practice that Healthwatch have identified over a three-month period, running a project aimed at improving access to health and social services for deaf Londoners. By sharing the good practice, our aim is that other trusts and authorities can easily find solutions to improving access.